Today we're going to continue our work in section 7-7 with our quadratics. Today we're going to be applying our quadratic functions. So if we look at example 1, we have the percentage of cars sold in the United States that are imported can be modeled by the formula P of X equals, and we can see our formula there, where X is the years after 1988. How do I know this is a quadratic? The highest exponent, the highest exponent on the variable is a 2. So that's how I know it's going to be a quadratic. If I were to graph it, we would get that parabola, aka U shape, that we looked at yesterday. We want to find, we want to use that function to find the year when the percentage was at its lowest. So we're just going to make a couple little side notes here. We just talked about the function is quadratic. So the graph will be a parabola. The leading coefficient which is 0.159 is positive. Remember when that leading coefficient or that a value, the value in front of the x squared, when that's positive, remember our graph is happy so it makes a smiley face. So since our graph opens up, that means our vertex point is our minimum or our lowest point. So at that vertex or that lowest point, that's where we're going to find the year that the percentage was at its lowest. So the lowest percentage will be at the vertex. We had a little formula yesterday, x equals negative b or the opposite of b over 2a. So into that little equation, let's go ahead and put our b. So we have negative, our b is negative 2.62 divided by 2 times our a is 0 0.159. We do a little computation. And our x is roughly 8. It's approximately 8. x represents the years after 1988. So if I want to know the year that the percentage was at its lowest, I have to take 1988 and add 8 years onto it. So the year that the percentage was at its lowest would have been the year 1996. Our lowest value is going to happen at our vertex. The x value at our vertex is approximately 8. x represents the number of years after 1988. So I have to add 8 onto 1988. Keeping with the same formula, same situation, we want to know what the percentage was in 2008. So the year 2008 is 20 years after 1988. So that means our x value is 20. x is the number of years after 1988. So in order to find our percent, we need to substitute x into our formula. So the percent when our x is 20 will be, so wherever I see an x I'm going to put a 20 in its place. 
And if we do the computation, we get 40.2. So this means 40.2% of cars sold in the U.S. in 2008 were imported. Let's take a look at one more application question today then get you guys some time to work. We have a contractor that needs to make a rectangular drain consisting of three sides from a piece of aluminum that's 24 inches wide. Find the length of each side if it needs to carry the maximum capacity of water. The drain is, it has kind of like this U-shape going on to it. Oops. It's three-sided and it is rectangular, but that fourth side is open because it's just a three-sided drain. So I think it helps. I'm going to draw a bigger picture. And I'm going to label those two sides that are parallel. I'm going to label them each X. So I'm just going to say let X equal length of parallel sides. So then that means that bottom, that kind of that base length there, in order to find that, I only have 24 inches of aluminum. So 24 total inches, and then I need to subtract off the 2x that I've already used for each of those other sides. So 24 total, I have to subtract off 2x, because there's two sides, each with the side length of x. The area then, the area is still going to be length times width. So x times 24 minus 2x. I realize that other side's missing, but that still doesn't change the fact that we're trying to find the area of a rectangular shape. If we distribute, we get 24x minus 2x squared. Let's rewrite that to put our squared term first. I'm working with a quadratic. Highest exponent is 2. It's a quadratic because the highest exponent is 2. I want to find the maximum. Since the leading coefficient, or if you'd rather say the a value or the x squared coefficient, since that coefficient is negative 2, if that coefficient's negative, we said our graph's not happy, it makes what looks like a frown, that means our graph opens down. Since our graph opens down, it has that maximum point of the vertex. So to find our maximum area, we want to find the maximum at that vertex. What would our side length be? So once again, x equals negative, or the opposite of b, divided, two, divided by 2 times a. So negative 24 divided by negative 4. The length of those two parallel sides, each one will be x, or excuse me, each one, each x will be 6. There we go. Then to find the other side lengths, we want to know the dimensions. Twenty four minus two times when our x is six. So 24 minus 12, the length of my other side is going to be 12. So to find the length of each side, we would end up with 6 inches by 12 inches would be our dimensions to maximize our capacity or to maximize our area. 
So now if we take that same idea, and what if we change it so now that drain has four sides to it, something's going to drain straight down into it versus coming in off the side, what will the dimensions need to be to carry the maximum capacity of water? So now what we have is we have a solid rectangle. I'm still going to leave those side lengths as x. But now, actually let me scoot this down because I have to label that other side. So now I can't just do 24 minus 2x because I don't have I don't have three sides. I have four sides. So I have an extra two sides I have to think about. So instead of this bottom side being 24 minus 2x, I have to split that amongst the two sides. So I'm going to have 12 minus x and 12 minus x. So instead of having a full 24, I'm only going to have half of that. I'm going to have 12 minus x for each side. So our area for this one be x times 12 minus x. Once again we distribute 12x minus x squared. I'm going to rewrite to make it simpler for us to use our vertex formula. Once again, that leading coefficient is negative, so we know our graph is going to open down. So we're going to have x equals negative b divided by 2a. We get negative 12 divided by negative 2. Our x is 6. If we substitute in 12 minus 6, that side is also 6. So the dimensions to maximize our capacity, if we have to have a four-sided drain, are going to be 6 inches by 6 inches. These two problems, I know they, they just kind of scratch the surface with application with quadratics, but just getting you used to that idea of using that vertex point to find maybe a minimum value or a maximum value.